And they call it the last plantation. And that's what it is, the last plantation. A lot of black officers I've seen this are nervous to even speak out against what they know is wrong. We had an official on the house side that uh, used to tell us, be glad we got a damn job. Be glad you're working out there. Shut your mouth, we couldn't question. Don't question what they did wrong. I think the plantation issue goes to the way blacks see the capital when it comes to trying to be promoted or anything. We're the last one to be considered for anything, even though we have so much have the most experience. In Metropolitan Police, you have a lot of black officials. When I say officials, the people in the rank. On my police department, we have very few black top officials. The years of the department that's been going on for over 200 years, almost 200 years. And we just got this high ranking black official who's a lieutenant last year. I mean, the discipline is different uh, for white officers as opposed to blacks. Blacks are terminated for doing less than what a white officer might do. And the reason why I got police probably has bad press lately, because these high ranking white officials don't know how to make the best decisions on the department. If you have different people in there with different uh, mindsets and other things, I can make the correct decision. And it's been a good old boy system that's, I think, that's come to a head now. I've seen it for 30 years that they disrespect uh, black leaders when they come to the hill. I think Mandela had just been released, and Mandela was being honored in the cannon building. We had a ceremony prepared for him and uh, they were assigning officers uh, to work the ceremony and the guys were on a break. We heard a white officer say, I hope somebody assassinates him. And I mean, you could see the clash about to take place in that locker room, white officers against black officers. And that's just how that is. It, 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 it's been unbearable. Bottom line is that's why black officers want the class action lawsuit. We just couldn't tell them. It's abusive, it's offensive, it's particularly offensive when you have officials doing it in your face also. Um, if you're outspoken, if you try to do what's right, you stand for justice, you become a target of retaliation. They'll do anything they can to shut you up, to make an example of it. I had, a, I had a nigga note put in, put in my desk drawer. We've had hangings used, put on our lockers. We've had the N-word used against us. We do everything that is asked upon us and sometimes treat them like second-class citizens. We're human beings and we're men and women. We need to be treated like men and women. Fair. The straw that broke the camel's back for most of the police officers, at least the Black Police Officers Association, was when the general counsel himself was accused of calling a cab driver in the city using the N-word. Uh, the Black Police Officers Association uh, filed uh, charges. Uh, they hired an attorney. I know they wrote letters to the uh, Speaker, Speaker of the House, Ms. Hester, uh, requesting uh, that some disciplinary action be taken against the General Counsel. I, 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 I'm aware also that a letter was uh, written by a congresswoman, I think it was Cynthia McKinney, who wrote a letter on behalf of the police officers requesting the general counsel termination. I know black members are disrespected. I've seen incidents where black members are disrespected. They'll do things that, to black members that they don't do to white members. Uh, officers pretend that they don't recognize a member. We all are required to recognize members of Congress. We go through written member recognition programs. I had a white counterpart working side by side Congressman from Louisiana came through. And I said, that guy's a congressman. I know the white officer heard me. He went over and said, sir, I need to see your ID. And he said, I'm Congressman Fields from Louisiana. Now, he said, can I see your ID? And gave him his ID. And he said, what's the problem, officer? He said, oh, sir, I'm sorry, you know, went on. And when he came back to me, he said, well, he just didn't look like a congressman. And I asked him, what does a congressman look like? He couldn't give me an answer. If you're not white with a towel and look at the profile of a businessman, 
you're not supposed to be there. And it tends to be the same officers all the time who tend to challenge the black members. We don't see them challenging white members of Congress. I've heard them say, well, when certain members come through here, in particular, Cynthia McKellen, she, uh, she ain't just gonna run up these steps. I'm gonna stop her. And I said, you know, if you know who she is, man, you can't do that. Well, I don't know what, what kind of outfit she may have on that day. You know, it's almost just like they be just waiting for confrontation. We've been trained to recognize members. They put out a picture, a special picture, and send it out to all the details and give it to all the officers. Say, look, this is Congresswoman McKellen. She's been stopped numerous of time. You know, this is how she looks, so don't stop her. And she keeps getting stopped. You know, that's, that's just strange to me when you got new members that even haven't even been up there for even two years or a year. They don't get stopped like that. You know, let's be real about it. Something's wrong. If you treat all the members the same, you won't help them. Anytime we hear of anything, uh, when a member was involved in an incident. When, it's, when it involves a white member, it's always that white, white member has been given a pass. He was, this member was drunk, out of line. This member was out of order, but this member got a pass. That's what we hear when it involves white members of Congress. So like Kennedy, the day of a break, he took a home. They saw a white prominent with the name of uh, Congressman. They said, hey, let's give him a break. Why they do the same thing with Kim? She's not from, she's not a prominent, she doesn't have a big name behind her. Look, look, look at that. You know, she's black. The, the person that she was involved with this is a white. And who they believe? A member of Congress on a white officer. They go with a white officer. Come on. We yeah, in the past, if, 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 if a white officer said of the white members did that, Hey, the white officers, hey, you, you you're wrong. You can't do it. Officers always wrong when a member says you did something. But when this black woman, when this black woman, uh, when they accuse this black woman of something, that white officer is right. I have known other members to turn around and confront somebody putting their hands on them and tell them, hey, I'm a member. You know? And that was the end of it. If this woman, this black female who was not recognized at the time as a member of Congress assaulted the officer. The officer should have arrested her on the spot. The least he could have done is detain her if he didn't know who she was. And I heard, heard a white officer saying, yeah, you know, they should have locked her up. She come through this door, I'll lock her up. They like was cheering about it, like it was a big trophy. I don't understand why it took a few days for them to make this decision. If anybody else had cost it, I'm, uh, a police officer, no question about it. He'd been in the cuffs. So he had to know who she was. But to come back a day later, or two days later, and bring charges, leads me to believe that this is internal. And again, I say that the general counsel has the responsibility of advising his police officers who to prosecute. That general counsel is still in office. That's General Counsel John Kaufman. So here you have a congresswoman who demanded, not requested, demanded the general counsel's termination. Now being prosecuted. Anytime you speak up on racism or like you address something as racism that you know is racism, they don't like that. Nobody wanna address the issue of race. When it's America gonna stand up and address that issue. Until that happens, nothing's gonna change on the hill. I just hope that if this get out, I hope it can make people understand what goes on, give a better understanding for 